Hi guys. Good. Very good. How you doing? Hey you guys. Hey you guys. Hey you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Confuses everybody. Yeah, that can get confusing. <laughs> okay. Um. So let's start. Um. So this franchise has got a, a huge history behind it, and the the film actually goes right back to the source material as well, and it stays quite true to the history. Do you guys feel like you had quite some pressure on you to, you know, make the film better? Um, not necessarily better, but certainly uh, there is a responsibility to to honour what fans loved about that origin, right? Um, but then I also think there's an element of trying to forget that pressure when you're making it and just be true to what you're you're making it on the day because um, it's like any any kind of pressure when you're doing anything, you know, whether it's sport or in movies or you, you feel the pressure, it's, it's not good. So you kind of want to let that go and just focus on the job at hand. And, uh, but we, what, what was never let go was the responsibility of, of our end goal, which was to achieve that exact thing and, and try and honor the, the mythology, the origin story of, of what we're trying to do here. Yeah, and there's also there's, there's so many outside influences on this film as well. Um, when uh, Johannes asked, uh, like, who, who was uh, instructing you, did he did he make you watch any of the previous films? Um, no, I don't think he he was basically just set up being like play the games, and play the games. And I'm like, well, you know, not bad research, really. Uh, if you're going to count research, is not bad to sit there and play video games for four weeks. So. I was I was happy to do it. I someone had to do it, and I yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah, that was the easiest homework and prep I'd ever had for a movie. Was just go and play <laughs> video games and stuff. But um, sorry, honey, I can't come. I gotta I gotta work. Yeah, if anything, it was actually more like forget the other movies. Like this is a whole new thing. Like think more of the games than the movies. You know, the the movies were like a completely separate thing, and um, go back to the games. Yeah. Was there any any time on set where you know you guys all got together and you had a game between yourselves? Was there any dark horses? We never played together, did we? Or did you guys? No. Play? I don't think I because no, we couldn't. Well, we could We couldn't because during COVID. COVID, wasn't it? Yeah. No, so we, we kind of kept apart. Yeah. Wasn't, Although wasn't I know there's crazy. some people who were in isolation who were in quarantine on the way in because you had to quarantine in Tacoma, Canada. Um, but when when they arrived. They were like played for two weeks straight, <laughs> so you know, but by themselves in a the hotel room. So I think there was lots yeah. of that. Uh, in some of the action sequences, they look and feel like the game as well. How much planning did you have to undertake to get those sequences spot on? Well, luckily, we have a lovely director who has all that blueprinted in their mind, and so yeah, I mean, that's, I, I think you guys really that that Spencer Mansion sequence is incredible. Uh, and Tom, you can talk about that probably better than I can. Yeah, I mean, the way that we, we come into the the mansion and the way we kind of approached it and then went in, um, that was a that that scene really sticks in my head as um, kind of an iconic moment of filming it because I remember me and Robbie turning to each other and who and Robbie's like a massive fan of the, the game and the franchise. We were like, dude, this is insane. Like, it's so much like the game. And just the way it was shot and everything, we kept seeing like different shots, the way they were doing it and, and everything. Like I, what I loved about the way Johannes did it is nothing was, was left to chance. Everything was methodically thought out and, and looked back to the game and constantly always looking back and forth. So there was nothing left to chance there. And I, I really enjoyed the way he did that because it, it was showing such care and detail to the game all the time. Um, and that um, that made our jobs very easy. And finally, to fans who may be a little bit sceptical about this version, what's the pitch that you would uh, maybe give them to convince them to see it? Uh, there's so many fun Easter eggs in this film. Like, um, the just the herbs in the background, all the herbs and like, they're like, like the red, green and blue herbs are all in the background. The, the typewriters, the save points are all throughout the film. Like, you can see them all throughout the film, the save points. And so that sort of stuff, that sort of like, you know, um, and it's a horror film. And uh, Resident Evil is a horror game. And this is a horror film. And that's, it's, uh, it's, it's, and I'm, uh, that I think uh, as, as a Resident Evil fan, I really like that. Yeah. And even, even people who aren't fans of the game, you know, what I kind of loved about it is that 
it's such an enjoyable movie for different for other reasons other than just that it's you know would be great for fans of the game you know like it it, it has wonderful humor it has wonderful building of tension for scares it sends you on an immersive journey as an audience member so even if i had never played the games i would still i still would enjoy this as a, a horror movie that kind of takes me on a journey into this world and i actually think it's really poignant after 2020 i really do like <laughs> you know there's this there's a virus that's been put into the this city you know i think it it's uh it's a look at what could have been or what might be <laughs> depending on which way you look at it yeah. well thank you so much for your time today it's been a pleasure talking to you awesome. and you Thanks. ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey, you guys. is yeah. that from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey you guys